सो हे गाइज वेलकम बैक टू माई YouTube चैनल एंड दिस इज़ गोइंग टू बी द डे थ्री टूटोरियल इन रियक्ट जावा स्क्रिप्ट सो इन आवर प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव सीन दी फोल्डर स्ट्रक्चर एंड हेलो वर्ल्ड इन रियक्ट जावा स्क्रिप्ट एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी दैट वॉट इज कम्पोनेंट्स इन रियक्ट जावा स्क्रिप्ट एंड वाई वी यूज़ कम्पोनेंट्स इन रियक्ट जावा स्क्रिप्ट सो इफ यू आर न्यू टू माई चैनल मेक्स योर डेट यू लाइक एंड सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल सो डैट यू डोंट मिस दी ऑसम वीडियोज सो बेसिकली प्रीवियसली ऑल्सो आई हैव टोल्ड यू दट कम्पोनेट्स आर द बिल्डिंग ब्लॉक्स ऑफ द यूजर इंटरफेसेज और यू कैन से वी कैन ब्रेक द जनरल वेबसाइट इन टू स्मॉलर कम्पोनेट्स सो डैट वी कैन यूज दैट पार्ट इन आवर कोड बेस एंड देर आर ऑल्सो सेवरल टाइप्स ऑफ कम्पोनेट्स वी हैव विच रिएक्ट यूजेज एंड ऑल द कम्पोनेट्स विल सर्व फॉर अ स्पेसिफिक पर्पज सो बेसिकली सम थिंग्स आर कॉमन इन द वेबसाइट विच यू सी ऑन योर स्क्रीन वन इज बेसिकली द हेडर और यू कैन सी आर नैप बार वन इज द फुटर विच इज एट द बॉटम ऑफ द वेब पेज एंड वन इज द सेक्शन एंड वन इज द असाइड and this whole component is in the app.js component which is basically a root component so you can say we can break down the website into smaller chunks so that we can use that part of code in our further component hierarchy and the main thing is that all the components are placed inside the app.js component which is basically a root component after that we have the types of component so we have different types of component first one we have the functional component functional component is a simply javascript functions and it is a stateless component or you can say presentational components and it is used for simple components that don't have their own state or life cycle features so after the introduction of react host functional component is used to manage the state and life cycle features here you can see we have a simple example of functional component so here you can see we have the const my component which is a arrow function of javascript and it is returning a html inside html we are passing hello world so this is a simple example of functional component we have After that, we have the class-based component. It is also known as stateful components or a classical components. And class-based component are JavaScript ES6 classes that extend React dot component. It is used for more complex component that need to be manage their own state and life cycle methods. So here you can see we have a basic usage of class-based component. Class my class component extends React dot component. And inside React dot component, we are passing this dot state. Inside state, we are passing the message and in the render method we are returning the html file with div tag and inside div tag we are accessing that object this dot state dot message so we have more types of component here like one is the pure component another one is a class component with hooks third one is the higher order components and fourth one is a render props so if you take a look of the app.js file you will see we have a functional component function app and inside we are returning an jsx or you can say a simple html and if i run this file with the help of npm start a very soon server will get started you can see it is running on local host 3000 so as i told you in the presentation the app.js is a root component inside you will pass each and every component which are necessary to make your website whether it is the header whether it is a section whether it is a footer or something you can even break a button to make a component so this is it for today tomorrow we will be continuing in functional component so if you like this video make sure to like and subscribe and if you have any doubt regarding this so let me know in the comment section until then thank you for watching Oh, 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 oh,